In a probability distribution, you just make two columns, one for outcome and the other for probability. Okay, let's say you're going to make a probability distribution for the weather this weekend. Let's say that you thought there was an 80% probability that it was going to be sunny, a 10% probability that it was going to rain, a 9.99995% chance that it was going to snow, and a 0.00005% chance that there was going to be volcanic ash. Now, if you add up all the probabilities, they have to equal 100%. Now, instead of the weather, you can make a probability distribution for the economy next year. Let's say that you believe that there's a 20% chance that the economy is going to be great, a 40% chance that it's going to be good, a 30% chance that it's going to be so-so, and a 10% chance that it's going to be really bad. However, saying things like good and great and so-so and really bad isn't really clear. It's better if you can quantify the economic outcome. For example, let's say that if the economy is great, you expect that your business is going to be able to get a 25% return on investment. If the economy is good, you expect that your business is going to get a 15% return on investment. If the economy is just so-so, you figure about a 5% return on investment. And if the economy is really bad, you don't think you're going to make any profit at all. So a 0% return on investment. Okay, the question is, what's the most likely return on your investment? To do this, you just take a weighted average. By taking a weighted average, you can determine the ERR, or expected rate of return. And this is easy. You just multiply the numbers across. You take the probability times the outcome, and then that equals the result. And then you add up the results. For example, 20% times 25% equals 5%. 40% times 15% equals 6%. 30% times 5% equals 1.5%. And 10% times 0, of course, is 0%. Now you add up numbers in the right-hand column, 5, 6, 1.5, and 0, and you get a total of 12.5%. So after taking a weighted average, the expected rate of return is 12.5%. Copyright 2008 by TeachMeFinance.com. All rights reserved.